G'day, this is Captain Noob, and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen, Iron Man Legend difficulty, with a few mods. We're about to start Operation Purple Tears, we've got to stop an Advent Retaliation, so this is just the standard one, go around and find people, don't let too many die. Hopefully it won't be too difficult, although it is uh, rated as very difficult, so our work is cut out for us. Bring along Devastator, Marauder, Barrage, Munja, Japai, and Kazi. Let's get out there. We might be seeing sector pods and stuff around, maybe some chrysalids, so that might be interesting. We'll have to see how that goes. Sky Ranger Deep Squad Green to deploy. I'd love to get another Reaper. What I'll have to do is run more um, ops for the Reapers in finding the uh, Hunter. We've still got a little bit of time before he um, gets right on our cases, but you know, the, the, the longer he's around, the longer we don't have Dark Lands to use, so we gotta go kick his ass as soon as possible. We just picked up an emergency signal from one of the resistance camps. The aliens are sweeping the whole area, taking out anyone they can find. We're moving in to put a stop to it, to protect as many people as we can. Secure the site and neutralize all hostile contacts. Menace 1 5. Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot, and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. Let's go right to a gigantic pile of civilians. Wow, okay. Um, if we're lucky here, we might be able to cover our mission objectives extremely quickly. And if we're unlucky, we've got to deal with a bunch of faceless. Oh, we've got chrysalids. Look at them. Good hit. Jasper finishes it off, sniping with the shotgun like he usually does. I see another one as well. There's a couple, actually. So, the longer you leave these guys around, the more of a problem they get to be, because um, they... They have a thing where if they kill a target, they will have, um, they'll leave a cocoon there, which will continue spawning chrysalids. And you can see why a bunch of chrysalids might cause issues. Have we got another shot on this? Yes, we do. That'll be enough. And if they attack you, they'll, um, give you a thing called chrysalid poison, which, and they can burrow too. Um, the poison never wears off. You have to get it med kitted up. And is it just chrysalids here? Maybe. Uh, well, there's some stomping and some smashing through walls, so... Yep. And now they've got a chrysalid cocoon there. So we got to get these civilians as soon as possible. Otherwise, this... Whole operation will go nuts. Comes from below. He's going right to where our dudes are going. Oh, he's coming right at us. Wait, what? We got a blade storm at least. But he might actually get bitten here. Uh, no. Wow, that chrysalid just really sent it, didn't he? He just couldn't resist. Full LS1 swap, dude. Go on, get going. Knowing that, um, we've got implacable, don't we? Yes, we do. Uh, knowing that, um, there's a bunch of chrysalids here, we shouldn't have to worry about, well, how about that? um, cover as much. Hey, nice promotion, Major Jabai. Gotcha. All right, that's half of them already done. It's good as. Let's see if our robot can move and get some more. He can, he can get these two. We I might summon a faceless because, you know, they're just kind of hidden out there. Or we might get ourselves into other trouble with these guys. Surprise. Is that a sector pod? Oh shit. Oh, double shit. And this is why we aid protocol.
Yeah, we're going to need that for the extra defense. Ah, we've got a Mimic Beacon. That'll help soak up some of the potential damage that we're seeing here. But this is about to get gnarly very fast. Let's do this. We'll be able to have a shot at this thing though, so that's helpful. Running dry. I'll combat protocol the sector pod. So we'll at least get some damage on it. And what I might do here is just uh, hide behind this car as Kazi so we can get in and do some. I'm really fearing for my robot at the moment though, because he's in a spot where we're in a lot of trouble. I think that one might be running at Kazi. If this hits and Kazi blade storms, it's dead. So that's all good. Oh wait, no, he's going for the. Oh, he's, that was a full dash, I guess. Look at him, they're sending it. Full, full send on these guys, and we've got tactical impairment for them, so that's good. What's he doing? Alright, that's one attack. If we don't deal with this sector pod now, well, we're in a we're in deep. Alright, there's a purifier. He's not gonna be able to do too much. He only moves. We've got a trooper coming from downtown. Which they will obviously always hit. Now, the shield bearer, are you going to double up on shields, my man? Because that'd be awkward. Oh, no way. Oh, he's going to suppress. Yeah, they're going to double up on shields. So, his turn is basically rendered wasted. And there's some chrysalids. And we've got a bunch of defense, so... Yeah, no way. Right, we're in a bit of a pickle here, I think. Because we've got this gigantic sector pod to deal with. Actually, um, we could blade storm that chrysalid if he comes in close. We could flashbang this entire mob here. But what is my... What's the play here? Because it's such a target-rich environment. Alright, what I might do is... We'll start off with Overdrive. I'm not super worried about the Faceless. Let's not worry about him. The Sector Pod, however, needs to die. And if I could get a giant rocket where I can hit all of these guys for shredding and stuff, then we're, in to, we're on to a good start. Alright, bunch of shields have been removed. It's good news. What Kazi could do is shift over here. Rescue this civilian or possibly faceless. And then we could get over there. And then that'll be the civilians saved. But then we're just sitting in half cover against all of this. We've got the whiplash here, which I am going to use for sure. We'll come in. And if we can whiplash this uh, sector pod, then we'll be, in good. we'll be pretty good. But we must shred first. So what I'll do is I'll come in with Marauder. And unfortunately, we cannot actually get a chain shot on this guy now. We've got the blue screens. We've got shredding. We've got holo targeting after this. So we've got one more to shred, and then um, maybe we go... 
who am I most worried about here? Maybe the mech after this one, because he can do an area of an effect, right? But first things first, we've got to make sure the sector pod is dead. We've also got this shot with Jasper as well, which we can use to possibly do some good work. We could kill the Faceless. None of these Chrysalids, I don't think, are that much of a threat. I like this, actually, quite a lot. But again, I could be using this to disorient them with the thing instead, but... Or I could come in and... We'll take the civilian. You should go. We could amplify as well. To make sure this does slightly more damage. Or what I want to amplify here, so it's like a guaranteed shot if, um... Close. Very close. This will be our best chance to actually get some work done, so we'll take the sector pot out. Hey, nice promotion. And then we'll... I think we'll hit up the mech. We'll just get started on it, I suppose. Unless we can hit more than one with this. Uh, maybe. Yeah, we'll do that. Better for our damage economy here. Now, we've also got another um, combat protocol from back here, which we can only hit a couple of things with, unfortunately. But if we open up the line of sight here, we can use the other combat protocol on this guy to get good damage. Now, I could totally run and gun this and get closer to the mech. Whoops. That's not it. Running and gunning. And if Kazi can handle this, and then we can draw a free attack here. You will pay the price. I'm gonna blow up the car afterwards. Two focus. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Now, we don't have untouchable at all, so we must remember that. But this is like a kill if it hits. Alright, we're working through it. Not too shabby. And we've got a hair trigger as well. Oh boy. That means we can successfully delete this guy. Jackpot is going off right you know, that now. Was good. And that's it. And no need to worry about that. He's gonna point at the faceless trying to intimidate the chrysalid, and you don't you can't freak out the bugman. Ah, standard bloody advent killing the civvies. They're mean, look at them. So, black. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Probably move or fight or something. Intimidate him. Freak him out. Never mind. He's got a shield. He's not super worried. Now, those chrysalids over there are just kind of vibing right now. Getting weaker by the moment. But they're only little baby chrysalids with six health and a bit of armor. Oh, damn it. Sorry, Devastator. Ready to rock. 
let's clean up a little bit here. So we've got Faceless, and we've got Chrysalid, and we've got that guy. I mean, none of these are that particularly appealing, are they? We'll definitely heal Devastator up first. But we do have, um... This we could do. Which is going to do some good work. Um, do I want to attack the faceless though? I think I do. I will tear you apart. There is bloody shield bearers, man. Um, we could pull this guy over to us, and then we'll have a much better chance at killing him. Uh, it's going to remove the cover though, so. Not the biggest issue, I suppose. We'll have a shot on this guy. And we've still got Marauder to take a shot, which I guess she could only do this. Then we can light this guy up. Which will reload this first. Is now reloading. Maybe I could have uh, repaired first instead. It's alright. An efficient kill. Uh, that's probably asking for a grenade there. You okay, game? Yes, you are. If only I could take the position where the civilian is. Whatever you say. Status confirmed. We've secured a civilian contact. Alright, I'm gonna play this a little bit more defensively, I think. Need a light. Heading there now. So they should have pretty bad shots. I think they're the only ones left. So we'll have to see what happens. Save her life. We tried. It's turning into a massacre out there, Commander. That camp is getting wiped out. I'm doing the best I can with what I've got. Alright. We've got a good team. Kazi is flanked though, so uh miss. Thank you. <laughs> the enemy chases my life. So they got a bunch of other chrysalids we gotta deal with. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the shot at this uh Good copy. Moving on target. this guy here. I like 82. And then I'm gonna go and hit him with Puppy. Should get the kill, should get full Hard focus. Target, I'd love to just one-shot this guy, terrible. but probably not going to happen. We've got Bladestorm to uh, deal with the rest of that guy. He's close as well. So this is a kill. My strike so if those Chrysalids want to come running at me, I dare him. I'm gonna shoot at this guy just to try to shred some of that armor. Big tanky boy. So it's a battle of the plates then, is it? And I guess we'll just take shots of this guy. Why not? Oops. No good. I must improve. We've got an 81 here. He's dead, Marauder. He's dead. Another nice little uh, promotion. 
Now, is he going to murder more civilians? Better not. Lucas Sheffer is burning. He ran into some fire. And this is why we wanted to desperately get our um, yes, get our dudes out robot. here. Because, you know, these crystals could have run on top of us very quickly there. Okay, he's panicked. Is he going to shoot the crystal? Need to find some new cover! No. They're extremely tanky, by the way. Blade Storm. Say ya. Impressed yet? I'm gonna get Jasper in there to uh, get this thing. Might just kill him straight up. Not quite. Kazi can do it though. This world is ours. Superior repeater, nice. I'd love that on a modular weapon of some description. I suppose right we'll do right now is just uh, try to kill the the crystal cocoon. Around. Robot's gonna come back home pretty beaten up, but I think the mission could have gone a lot worse than it did. Did we miss that? No. I'm gonna heal this guy so he doesn't burn to death. I think the chrysalid cocoon is the last thing we've got to worry about. But we're only just scraping by. Oh, you're a faceless! I healed a faceless. Cheeky bastard. Maybe I should have let him burn. Which we're totally going to shoot him now. He's, he's not gonna last very long. Hair trigger. Actually, who? I think we got a promotion already. We've had a couple of good promotions. Devastator, Miranda. I think Kazi as well, maybe. You can't handle me. We'll have to have a look. Uh, how many of you have I killed? Just shot right through Kazi there. Did you see that one? Oh, cool. Well, we may as well go after civilians. No problem, boss. The two that are left. I can do that. And then if we happen to aggro the the chrysalids, they'll come in and die. Oh, okay. You can. I didn't expect another pot of dude to be out here, but there you go. I thought we were done. Well, there you go. Still a little bit more to be doing. Where can I grapple to? I can grapple up here, but it won't do me a lot of good. On target location. So the priest will probably come in and maybe shoot someone or try to mind control. If he tries to mind control Kazi or stasis him, it's gonna suck. But just in case it gets null, I'm just gonna chuck an aid protocol on him. Give him threat assessment. Let's see. He's gonna mind control and it's not going to work out, is it? Mind shields, baby.
that's slightly more problematic. I'm gonna get Kazu to come in and hit the priest though, for sure. I strike for my people. Just think of how powerful it will be when we finally get our Templar, the uh, Celestial Gauntlets. We'll slash this guy. That should mean that he's dead after we uh, Blade Storm him next turn. Hit him for 11. Oh, we could just straight up kill him now. 55. Repeat up. No. My failure is my own. The skirmishes Have need to be really gone. close to make them worthwhile, I think. Let's move already. Father really outdid himself, didn't he? I'm gonna shoot this guy from back here. See what happens. All right, so is we're gonna get blade stormed and possibly go into sustain. So we can see him from this cactus, which we'll definitely use. Also, oh, hang on, we're in Australia right now. Why are there these cactuses around? That's not what happens. All right, cool. He's dead. Kill confirmed. And I guess you'll just sit there. I'm on it. This is why we wanted to kill the assassin. You know that was good. I stumbled across something bad here. <laughs> We're gonna get blade stormed anyway. Oh, he's gonna get shot at. Might kill it. We'll see. No, but the blade storm will definitely take it. That is not good. Full focus. Menace one five status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Wow. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. And we get Lizbeth Hagen. Hey, cool. Don't remember asking for a new recruit, but thanks. They'll be sitting there on the Avenger being janitor, because we won't have any use for rookies at this stage of the Glorious campaign. Citizen. I come to you with a heavy heart. Advent outreach forces were ambushed earlier today while spreading their message of unity and hope <laughs> to the outer settlements. We shall mourn their loss and avenge. Wow, that is some powerful propaganda. Nothing says peaceful as like bringing in a 16 foot tall walker with a big gun in there. Excellent, we can grab we can grab untouchable here. There it is. Cool. Devastator can get combat presence and we can pick up retribution as well. It's got satfire. That's okay. And hail of bullets, definitely going for that. Salvo would be great too. We might pick that up if we go and fight the um, Berserker Hello, Queen. Commander. All right, so we're almost there for Plasma Lancers, but we've got no supplies left, so we'll have to wait on that for a second. We'll have um, modular vector rifles very soon. We get a soldier from that. Do we really need another soldier? They'll probably be counter level by now, which is awesome. Avenger plotting new course. Well, actually, we could have a look at how much um, supplies we'll need for the plasma land. So we might be able to just sell a bunch of stuff. Strategic resource located. Like the 65 alien alloys that we just picked up. That'll be worth a significant amount of money, I think. I tend to keep things simple. Choose a target, pick up their trail. And then, when the time is right, I strike without warning. Market is no Think of it as mercy. Most of them don't even have time to notice their death. Laser sight, thank you. Could half the covert action time. No point on spending intel on that. I'll go for another hair trigger. I think I wanted to. I, I really want to. 
but I've really got nothing to really use it on, do I? I'd need... Need some more of that, uh, modular cannons. You only need more of those. 160 intel, it's doable. I think this is the place we want to go to, right? Yeah, and then we'll build the thing down there and then that'll be good. Let's expand. It'll eat up a bunch of our intel, but we had a bit, so it's okay. Let's scan here for a bit, and then we'll have access to this place. We'll have a new alien facility built, probably somewhere where we haven't actually unlocked yet, but... Um, the, for the moment, the avatar progress is being quiet. That's because I think we did hit the thing, so maybe that's good. Attempting to establish. Our people seem to work well together, Commander. Excellent. Right, right, right. There we go. We can recruit Reapers now. We've got that as an option. We can also grab promotions as well. A scientist for a promotion. Sounds pretty good. 11 days. Now, now, now. Who would I want to promote the most? I think I want to promote Camille. If I whack her in there with Harry, that'll increase their... Um, cohesion a little bit so I can get them to level 2 and then if I send them out on COVID action together I can get a reduction in the amount of days it'll take to undertake the said COVID action so that's good I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do commander Shadowlands plasma lands approved cannon budget bullpups yep go for it I will begin our research I love modular weaponry So, in order to get the plasma lands, we'll need 375 supplies, which is actually kind of heaps. Maybe we just wait till the next supply drop to do it, eh? Having never stepped foot in one of the city centers, I've never actually had one of these at. Thanks for the flavor text. Yay, acid bomb. They're nice. Becca is back. Another space Allen facility. Let's keep going with this. Got modular bullpups for days three. Let's see who rocks up. Nothing new to be spotted there. All right, so Devastator's back as well, which is good. We can access this facility. Which doesn't have a giant space Allen in it. Who's got the Berserker Queen? Not that one. That one. Okay, so that's definitely where we want to go. Now, we could um, go straight there, right? Because... Yeah, we could go straight there. We need more intel, obviously, to get there. But then we'll have access to New Brazil, which has got two pips here. We'll just need to build the relay because at the moment we don't have the intel to get there. So what I might do is, we've got the Shadow Chamber in four days, the Scilab in nine days, modular bullpups. Maybe we grab the soldier. New like another colonel on the team is going to be powerful. Uh-huh. So we could go to Australia again. It'll be very difficult. I'm not worried about bending reed because I don't let stun lenses actually attack me. And this one is a hidden event for 93 intel. Don't quite know. But this one, I'll be able to bring a bunch of um, EMP bombs along and blue screens. And then we can uh, see a bunch of sector pods and shit. So maybe that'll be the one we go to. It'll be very difficult, so we've got to... You know, take it easy. Sector. Maybe we'll grab um, blue screens on our Reaper and we'll use it for scouting purposes. I think we'll grab two grenadiers with the abilities of uh, two grenades just so we can spam EMP grenades all day. Um, our spark is once again ready to go, which is good stuff. 
So that's death knell. I think Miranda would be tired, wouldn't she? Yeah, that's unfortunate. We've got two grenades here on Jado, which I'll be using for sure. And we'll give you the best gun that we've got in that case. Now, we'll bring along Ghost with us. She's got um, modular guns now, and I'm gonna probably going to chuck a reflex sight on it. The reflex sight, the laser sight. If I can, I think I can. I think it takes up the sight slot. Most robots you can't really flank except for... I guess except for codexes and spectres. So maybe that'll be pretty gnarly against those guys because we get all of that extra damage with criticals. A hacking specialist would be pretty good right now as well. I don't think I've done skull mining. No, I have. I must have done it because we've got an extra hack score out of that. And then, if we can, we'll get some more blue screen rounds. Not happening. Got the thing with a that good. So your hack score is now 75 plus 20, so it's not terrible. But in order to use that, you'll need Haywire Protocol. Which I'm going to get that instead for guaranteed hit. So maybe that's not all that useful. Especially since we could be carrying something like a med kit instead. But then, do I want to bring out two specialists? And how much does it cost for a blue screen rounds? Because I think, yeah, I can't buy any more. We've got shredding here on Carla, which I'm pretty good for using. So we'll definitely bring her out. And we can grab Talon rounds. And an acid bomb, perhaps, there. So that, that just shreds a bunch of armor with a decent radius. And range is actually pretty good. So that's good for like damage over time purposes. So maybe that'll be fine. And yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with this squad. So Operation Iron Shriek. We've got a hacker workstation. And it's very difficult. But we get an engineer out of this. An Australian engineer. So even better. With automated defenses. So be prepared to see a bunch of robots. Sector pods, codexes, um, spectres as well. So... Yeah, hopefully no Andromedans because they're, they suck to fight. Thank you very much for watching, guys.